All right, today we're working on my sister's uh, 2003 Saturn L200, same as the wheel bearing wheel hub video. Um, you can see here, the reason the exhaust is so loud is the resonator is completely busted. So I got the new one from O'Reilly's for around 90, 100 bucks and a gasket, maybe another 10. So you can see it's gonna come right up to there. So I'm gonna take out those bolts. So I'm gonna PB, I'm, uh, first thing I'm doing is wiping it all off. Then I'm gonna PB blast it all or with some, you know, liquid wrench. And then if I need heat, I will. And I've got my little impact. I'm hoping that's enough. You might need more. Um, but yeah, we're gonna break those bolts loose and then uh, go back to the exhaust there. You can't see it from here, but we're gonna undo the little clamp on the exhaust in the uh, back there. And then we're gonna pull this whole piece out, put the new one in, uh, slide the rear of it back into the exhaust and reclamp it with a new clamp. So 120 bucks maybe to do the whole job. And it should get rid of this insanely loud Saturn that I can hear my sister pulling up from a mile away. So uh, I'll run you through the sizes. I believe the bolts are 13 millimeter on the uh, the uh, downpipe there, whatever you want to call it, the uh, resonator pipe there. Um, but yeah, we're gonna hopefully get those broken loose without stripping them and uh, go from there. All right, so we got the three bolts out on the flange here. You can see the reason that we're doing this is because my resonator has a big hole in the side of it which is pretty nasty. So once you get this out, you're gonna wanna cut. So I got that out, the three bolts right there, fell right down, pull it off the hangers, take your time with the hangers. You just kinda wrestle them, they'll come off. Um, the ones on here are okay. And then I cut it, you can kinda see where it comes to the S right here. I cut it right there. So, and then I actually just took the muffler off instead of having it bounce around on the hangers to get this piece of pipe out. So I can get the new one in. And then I use map gas uh, right here. A some uh, map gas, just a little can, nothing fancy, and I heat it up right on the flange here where this goes. And I actually should have grabbed two of these clamps. I ended up using this clamp as a hammer point, so it was stuck in there like that, and I could not get this thing out. I beat it to death with a hammer, and finally, I thought, okay, I'll just buy another clamp for four bucks or whatever, a little two-inch clamp, and I clamped this down super tight, and I just hit it as hard as I could with a hammer until it finally and i mean you got you need an impact for this job by the way i got this little cheap one little o'reilly's uh, impact with my little air compressor and it did the trick for getting all the bolts out and then uh getting these really tight on here and then i just beat the hell out of it until it finally came out so i'm gonna stick the uh muffler back on and slide the pipe back on and mount it all back up um you will need new screws so the screws that came with this are rusted to hell and you can see they're pretty busted up and uh once you get these loose don't touch them because they get really hot with the impact so i kind of burned my finger that's not why my thumb i took a chunk out of but i'm gonna go to ace and i uh, just bring this with me and we're gonna buy the little uh, lock nuts here and just the appropriate thread and size of these bolts and i'm gonna make sure i mention they're for automotive use so they're a little stronger maybe and this is a pretty hot point so don't buy cheap uh, bolts, but it should be all right. So we're gonna slap it all back together and your catalytic converter comes down Meets that joint right there. That's where all the exhaust was coming out of Making this car incredibly loud and then it goes through the path back. This is about a hundred bucks at O'Reilly's um, Gasket was another couple bucks. It's laying on the floor over there so you do need a new gasket for this and um, Yeah, it should all slip right back together at this point. Yep. Oh, it doesn't sound like a tugboat anymore. Nice. Nice and quiet. Sounds like a normal car.